And the housing market continues to power right along this spring. The number of homes that went under contract to be sold climbed to the highest level in more than a decade. The National Association of Realtors says pending home sales in April rose more than 5%. That easily exceeded expectations. But as we've been reporting, one of the issues plaguing the housing market is affordability. As home prices rise, many just can't afford to buy, let alone make a down payment. So Wells Fargo has decided now to launch a new low down payment mortgage program. But as Diana Olick reports, skeptics wonder just how many first-time home buyers the program will really help. The new home loan from the nation's largest lender requires just 3% down payment for a conventional fixed-rate loan funded by Fannie Mae. We're offering a simplified product that is less expensive and we think a far better way for someone to buy their first home. The down payment can come from a gift, perhaps from parents or community down payment assistance programs. Borrowers do not have to complete a home buyer education course, but if they do, they can get their interest rate slightly reduced. Borrowers must have at least a 620 FICO credit score, and they do need mortgage insurance. Critics argue this is a return to a time when borrowers didn't have enough skin in the game. But Wells Fargo claims it is still low risk to the bank. With this product, we're being very clear that they have to have the ability to repay the mortgage. We have to make sure that they have a history of repaying debt uh, or at the very least responsible management of their finances. But there are a couple of hitches with that. First, Fannie Mae loans are exempt from the so-called ability to repay rules that federal regulators put in place after the credit crisis. Borrowers can have much higher debt levels compared to their incomes through Fannie Mae. Second, a 620 FICO score means you don't have a good history of repaying debt or managing finances, which means very few borrowers would qualify at that score unless they brought something else to the table. You'd need something like either a big down payment, which you're not having with this loan, or a big bank account, which is unlikely with somebody who's lower income and may have a lower credit score. Sakala says he does not think this will be a game changer for first time borrowers, but it could bring big banks back into an area they've mostly abandoned since the financial crisis. The reason Wells Fargo is doing this is not just its public conscience, but the fact that regulators are looking at them and saying, what are you doing to serve lower income minority borrowers in areas where you collect deposit? This new loan is Wells Fargo's answer, as long as the borrowers who ask for it qualify. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.